22 senators having voted aye and 27 having voted no, the amendment fails. Are there further amendments? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Senator Kaufman. Caffaro. What is your pleasure, Senator Caffaro? My apologies. Mr. Chairman, I have a question for the bill sponsor, please. Mr. Senator Chairman, Esman, I will yield. yield. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Senator Esman, I have a couple of questions. If we could flush out this a little bit, I might not need to move my amendment. I'm curious about the courier, and could you explain to me how that would work? For example, does the courier take the money from the patient and then go back to the grower and deliver it? So that's one part. And then the second part is, does a cur is a courier, where does a courier deliver the uh, medical marijuana? Mr. Chairman, Senator Caffaro, thank you for the questions. The, uh, and it is, the, in response to your first question, Particularly, I failed to outline that in my pre opening presentation. The bill does require that payment would be transmitted by the registered card holder to the gr grower or manufacturer by electronic means. Debit, credit card, Western Union, something of that order. The, as far as the place of delivery, I believe that would be handled under the rules issued by the state licensing authority uh, who licenses the carrier acti courier activities. Okay, a uh, follow-up, Mr. Chairman? You continue to yield. Senator. I will continue to yield. Uh, Mr. Senator Chairman, Carroll. Senator Esmond, then two other questions. Uh, one is, will the, cur the driver, the courier, will they have the information necessary for the patient to help consult them in what strain they might need, particular to their condition? And then second, what happens if the only grower that has that particular strain is 200 miles away? Is there any flexibility for long distance uh, transporting of the medicine? Mr. Chairman, Senator Caffaro. The first question was, uh, no, the, the courier is only performing a transportation service, so they would not be advisors in any regard. Uh, there is no prohibition in the bill that a registered cardholder cannot communicate with either a manufacturer or a grower. It's just that they are you know, phone calls could be exchanged, information could be exchanged. There is just no face-to-face -face transfer of product. The, uh, with respect to long distance, I believe there's uh, transportation, I believe there's flexibility within the state licensing authority rulemaking provisions to establish that type of system. Okay. Thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Essman. I'll go ahead and move my amendment, um, Mr. Chairman. What is your pleasure, Senator Caffaro? Uh, let's see. Mr. Chairman, I move to amend Senate Bill 423 with amendment number 008 and ask that it be posted and deemed read. Senator Caffaro. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, what this amendment does is creates dispensing centers and removes the courier system. I think the courier model is unworkable and it um, infringes on privacy as well as safety. And the dispensing centers would be a discrete physical location where patients may make informed decisions and discuss options with individuals that are knowledgeable about cannabis. Uh, the other thing is, is that as was pointed out in the questioning, is the couriers are, to me, I see them as the frontline people and they will not be knowledgeable about the product. The, the other thing about my amendment that's important to point out is in the bill, it says that the, uh, this, the, the growers basically cannot advertise, they can't have a, a storefront, they can't have signs, they can't, so they really, we hardly know they exist. My amendment doesn't change that. My amendment just says that there will be a dispensing center. Again, it doesn't change the fact that they can't advertise, they can't have a storefront. 
The second thing is um, my amendment doesn't change zoning, so local, or local governments can zone um, the dispensing centers completely, you know, where they want. So it, my amendment doesn't touch zoning, it doesn't touch the advertising, it keeps things discreet, but what, do, what it does allow for is the contact that I thought I heard in the sponsor's opening, there would be no direct contact between growers and patients. And as he said, could be over the phone, but I think it's important that they're able to sit down and meet face to face. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is there discussion on the amendment? Senator Reston. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, I uh, appreciate uh, Senator Caparro's uh, attempt to maintain a discreet problem here a discreet approach to this, but frankly, this um, this dispensary situation is, you know, has proven to be unmanageable. The um, and I just don't. I believe we would be creating a system which would be much more difficult for law enforcement and the state licensing authority to monitor observe and make sure that all products are being handled in a very controlled system. The bill is structured, requires notice of, notice to law enforcement when a courier, whenever a courier transports product from point A to point B. The dispensary system would strike at the heart of that control mechanism and for that reason I'm half, I'm have to oppose the amendment. Is there further discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, Senator Caffaro, would you care to close? Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, uh, first off, I should have said this in my opening. I really appreciate the work of the committee and the subcommittee and the bill sponsor on this issue. And one thing that is important to note is I'm glad we're having this conversation on the Senate floor. I was on the interim committee for Children Health, Human Services, Community, and whatever, the whole world. And we took up this issue. I wasn't on the subcommittee, but I was on the committee, and we did have a committee bill. And so we, I've had the opportunity for a long time to hear from many, many, many patients, growers, all, all the different people in this community. And during this session, even though I'm on Health and Human Services Subcommittee and the Policy Committee, this is the issue I've heard the most about out of any issues. And so I know it's a tough one and I appreciate your work on this and I appreciate the bill. However, I think that my amendment is important and I think it's very reasonable to have a discreet place where the two people that are central to the whole issue, the patient and the grower, can come together and talk about what's necessary and treat it like it is a, a, medical, a medical issue. The other piece of it is the making the law enforcement aware of the transaction, that can still happen. My amendment doesn't take that away. As a matter of fact, it it should happen and it should even happen electronically so that they have tracking and recording. Um, I hope you can support the amendment. I think that it's medical marijuana kind of has what I call an identity crisis and it's time we treat the providers and the patients with respect. Thank you. The question now arises on the amendment of Senator Caffaro. As many are in favor of the motion vote aye, those opposed vote no. Clerk will record the vote. Mr. Chairman, 22 senators have voted aye, 27 senators have voted no. With 22 voting aye, 27 voting no, and the amendment fails.